Okay, so I stopped the video by accident. So let me start all over. I have sprouted quinoa here. It's a pretty big bag, as you can see. I'm not sure. I don't remember how many pounds. I don't have the list in front of me of what I purchased. Um, I'm going to take some of this, pour it into here, because this is a very heavy bag. It could get out of control. And I'm going to pour it into this bucket where I have put bay leaves in there to deter uh, parasites and when I'm a quarter way through I'll put more bay leaves and then when I'm halfway through more bay leaves and uh, uh, three quarters through more bay leaves and then on the top I'm going to put bay leaves. I'm not going to put it in a bag. I actually could but um, uh, I'm not sure if, if I think the plastic of this bucket is better than a plastic bag, even though it's durable. Um, I'm, I'm thinking about putting it in separate bags and not necessarily tying them up, but at least one on top of the other. Uh, so it's a easier way to, to scoop some. I don't know. I haven't made up my mind yet. As you can see, I have packaging supplies around. Um, it doesn't mean I'm going to use the, um, air absorbers. Um, you can't really use air absorbers e e everywhere. Um, but it could be used on the quinoa, actually, because the quinoa is dry, it's not sweet, and it doesn't have moisture. And that's the rule for uh, uh, air absorber. So I think I'm going to try and do that. I think, I think I'll do that rather than putting quinoa. Um, I am going to also vacuum pack some quinoa. I just have so much that I'm going to package it in different ways. So let's get started. Okay, so you're going to be my my witness as to how I'm tackling this. And uh, I'm just filming it. So, you know, I maybe perhaps I can encourage somebody to do this. Uh, I bought this a year ago. It was 2023. It was uh, probably, probably summer of 2022 when I bought it. I put it out to freeze when the cold weather came because I can't afford a big, big giant uh, freezer. And it's a lot of work for an alone person like myself. So here we go. I'm going to start spilling some of the quinoa over. Oops. And it could get out of the way because that's why I have it on top of a bin. Because... Uh, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop, hopefully. I gotta be careful that it doesn't spill because if it moves, it'll quickly spill around. So I'm putting some bay leaves here, and then I'm gonna spill more. And I don't know how much of this is being caught on the camera because it's just me here. All by myself. All by myself. I could be by myself as long as I got Jesus. I don't have a problem being all by myself. As long as God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit is with me. I'm going to call on His name. Even though it's just one person, He is there. Okay, so here we go. Okay. So I didn't put as, as many uh, bay leaves as I had set because it's going fast, right? Mind you, I try to wash my hands and I try to sanitize the phone. But of course, this is all going to be me anyway, so what do you care, right? <laughs> Some people do like to criticize. It's like, it's my food. Okay, so actually, we did good with this bucket. Look at that. Wow. All right, so I'm going to put more bay leaves. Flatten it out a little bit. Put more bay leaves. So now I'm going to seal it. And these buckets seal pretty good. Pretty good. <coughs> I 
I usually get the hammer. That's how good they seal. But, uh, let me get a sign. And today's date is 311. Okay, so now I have my first bucket. Okay, so I have named it, I dated it, and this is such a good seal. Oh, I forgot to put some of the. Uh, I forgot to put some of these absorbers. Mm, this is going to be another project opening and closing it. They go bad after a while. Mm -hmm. So is this thing recording? Oh, it is. Okay, so I'm gonna pop in a couple of absorbers in there. There's still a little space there for me to, come on, come on, come on. These buckets are really, really good. Really, really good. Okay, so I got the absorbers in. I mean, to open these buckets, you literally need like a this side of the hammer to pull it out. So this is done. That was pretty quick. All right. All I have left from the big old bag is this. And these bags are expensive, so I'm going to keep them. That's all I got. The bag is almost empty. See? It did a pretty good job. It's a whole bucket. Okay, so this is a pretty heavy bucket now, right? So I'm putting some bay leaves at the bottom. I'm not sure that this is even going to fill up, fill up the bucket. I mean, this little, maybe it will, maybe it won't. Uh, it's not easy to pour it out of such a big bag. That's for sure. but let's see what happens, how it comes out. Hope I don't make a big spill and end up dropping. Now I know about the capacity of these bags, okay? So I'm going to pour these bay leaves in here and put an absorber. And I don't know what kind of condition these absorbers are, to be honest. And I really, uh, I'm not fooled on what type of absorber, if it's a smaller one, the bigger one, but it's not gonna do any harm. And so now I'm going to label this. So now I have a sprouted quinoa. Because I have plenty of quinoa. Except the other quinoa was not sprouted. Okay. So I got healthier and I decided to order sprouted stuff. Okay. So now I'm going to label this. And so I'm just going to put a label here. Just in case I swap accidentally the lids. I'm going to put a label here. They are dated. And it indicates what it has. So, this is my portion of the quinoa. It actually was way easier than I thought I should have done it before. It took me months to get here. Uh, the harder part is uh, what I filmed yesterday, which is uh, vacuum packing flour. Um, I've ordered the right bag so that way I don't have to go through 
as much trouble as I did yesterday. I was hurting my neck. I was hurting my back. Uh, but I should get uh, those bags today or tomorrow. By tomorrow, Sunday, uh, from Amazon, they gave me a Prime membership of $1.99 for a week, which was excellent because that's all I needed. There's nothing else I'm going to be ordering from them anytime soon since I'm on a very tight budget. Thank you.